can use the Power BI desktop to connect to data, transform it, model it, and build reports and visualizations to help uncover insights. Once you've installed the Power BI desktop, the best place to get started is just to hit get data on this first screen. You'll get a list of all of the different data sources we support. I'm gonna choose SQL Server as an example. Just type in the name of the machine you wanna to connect to. And in this navigator, you can see all of the databases available to me, and I can browse through to the table that I'm interested in. If I select this one, I can either load it directly, or I can choose to edit that query and transform the data as it gets pulled into the Power BI desktop. I've got some really simple data in here, just some information about sales to different segments in different countries and of different products, etc. In this query editor, I can do a whole bunch of different things, uh, adding and removing columns. I can split things up. I can group uh, data in different ways. And I can do a whole bunch of different transformations to shape and uh, construct this data the way that I want to. Actually, it's in pretty good shape, so I don't need to do anything like that. All I'm going to do is hit close and load. We're now going to load that data into the Power BI desktop. Now here on the right hand side, I can see all of the different columns that got pulled in. If I want to start building visualizations, all I need to do is choose the field that I'm interested in and drag it over to the canvas on the left hand side. Let's analyze that by product. And it splits it out for me. I can see the Perseo products way out selling anything else. Let's try some different visuals. We support a range of different visualizations. And if I want to insert, for example, a map, just click that icon and now start dragging some fields onto it. Uh, let's take a look at country. And let's look at that again by our gross sales. So now I can see that the USA is probably the place where it's selling the most, followed by Canada, then France and Germany. Maybe let's look at some different visuals. Let's try a donut chart. And for this one, let's uh, again look at our units sold. I'm going to use this area on the right here to control exactly how this visual is made up. But this time, rather than looking at it by product, I'm going to look at it by segment. So we can see we're doing most of our sales in the government area. Finally, we can choose, uh, let's build some details and put a table into here. Let's look at the number of discounts that are being given and uh, which months we were doing our sales in, the products, and let's add a few more of those numeric values as well. Great, I've got a really useful report here. It's got quite a lot of detailed information in it. And I'm just gonna save this locally. This is my sales report. And I can also choose to publish this up to the Power BI service from here. I've already signed in, so this will go straight up to Power BI. And when it's finished, I can open it up. And here in the browser, I can see that report that I just published. And this report's really interactive. If I just want to focus on the Paseo product, I click that bar, and I can see everything else gets highlighted to just show me that data. And I can see the same visuals that I created in the desktop appearing here, ready for me to pin to other dashboards or to share with people around my organization. So that's a really quick overview how you can use the Power BI desktop to just connect to data, start modeling and transforming it, and then build some reports that you can publish up to Power BI. Thanks very much.